Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this is a workflow video about how to create um, sharp edges and corners. Okay, we need an example. So, I'm using here the solo view. So, I created here a mask on this object. And yes, I do it with the other shape here. So maybe we want something here like this. Okay. So, and I'm using here also so sh such shortcuts um, as here clear all and um, yeah, you have to look a little bit what I'm doing. So, and here in the top menu, you see here, you can convert it to a face group. So I press on this and I clear the mask. So the problem is here, when you use here the operations menu and you try to relax something, everything gets round like this here. And the main workflow is to keep the edges sharp and the lines straight is to use here um, the mask tool here. I'm using the cell mask and I'm using here, this is a front vertex filter. So you can also use the checkbox here in the filter here front vertex only so okay so now i'm masking only single vertices only only the edges here or yeah where i want the sharp corners This is um, yeah to understand how the workflow works. So I like it more here. So like this here. And now you protect it the contours of this shape and now when you use uh, the the relax option you see here your yeah you get sharp edges okay so i'll go a few steps back So let's do it uh, for this shape here. So I'm masking this. So I'm tapping here on the mask and inside the face group. And I extract here this mesh uh, with a thickness of zero. So I only extract a flat mesh. Then you get something here like this. And now I'm using the cell mask tool and I'm masking here some edges. So where I want sharp and straight lines and sharp edges. Maybe this one. So the mirror was active, so both sides are masked. And now I'm using here for this mesh, not the face group relax. So I'm using the a mesh relax here. Though. So I'm using the slider. 
And you see now, you get um, very nice edges. And yeah, that's it. And the next thing is here, this is when you use the quadri mesher and you want a, a nice quadri meshed mesh. So Stefan, the developer, yeah, says that it's best to force tris for this mesh. So when you quadri mesh. So I'm pressing here decimation. So now we have everywhere tris. Maybe we can relax a little bit more. And the next step is here use the quadri measure. So let's see what happens. And this is an yeah, this is okay, I think. And you can go through another step and, and try to uh, relax it again a little bit. So I think it's okay. Where is my mesh? Here. I think this was this one. Or I think so. Yeah, I hope you get the workflow. And let's check. Um, so when this happens, you have to um, mask it again. So um, where is my cell mask? So maybe I want to move here a vertex like this here and then I cell mask this one. And then we can try it again. So I hope you understand what I'm <laughs> trying to tell you. So, sorry, here, and then yeah, the mesh gets cleaner and yeah, I think it's nice. So, and the last thing is here, maybe we want a beveled edge for this thing. So I'm using the mask here tapping on the inside and now we need a height. So the important part here is the, the edge loop division. So you, you see here this distance here from from here to here this becomes the bevel. So when you change your divisions, the bevel gets smaller. And you need at a minimum three divisions. So yeah, you need three divisions. And then or more, and then extract the whole thing. So now you see the mesh looks like this. And now I'm using the face group tool. I'm picking this face group, select the backside. Okay. And then I'm changing to the mask. So here's a connected checkbox. So I tap on the face group here and the connected option selects both sides. So like this. 
And here in the top menu, here's a, a invert button. So you can invert. And you see now here only this loops here are masked. And now when you press convert, they are converted to a other face group. And then I can go back with the invert button. And now I'm using the inflate slider. So now you see here your bevel comes outside like this. So the only problem here are the, the edges here. Um, you can fix it. But there's no other solution at the moment, I think. So, yeah. And so here, a few problems. I think you have to fix manually. But in fact, it looks like um, it looks nice. I think some problems. I don't know why they are there. So this one here, I don't really know why it happened. Maybe a little bit smoothing. Then it works. So maybe it helps and you find inspiration for things to do with it. Um, yeah, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.